my first time buying from Gucci, it is real like, I'm like, ooh, I think I have a new addiction. <laughs> Hello my friends, Jetron is here. Now you know, I collect Mr. Louis Vuitton, all right? I got some things here and there, but I don't have anything from Gucci. And in today's video, that is all going to change because I finally got something super cute and yeah, let's see what I got. As a first time buyer of Gucci, I knew I definitely wanted something very small, like an SLG, so I can get a feel of the brand instead of buying something big and possibly regretting it. So just to give you a sneak peek, here is the packaging, you guys. Isn't this so cute? I did order this two weeks ago and the shipping was relatively fast. It came within like five days, so that is nice. Along with the box and the item, it did come with this reusable like tote bag that says Gucci. So so cute i do like this um i don't know what i will put in this maybe wine from what i know they are trying to cut down and be more environmentally friendly so that's why each order does get a reusable tote bag now before i do dive in into what i got of course in all my videos i love to give a little background of the item or the collection i am talking about now this entire collection is called the gucci la palmes i think that's how you pronounce it i'm sorry i'm bad at pronouncing names la palmes does translate into like apples and as you can see from the entire collection you see like apples. <laughs> now on the Gucci website, they did describe this collection to be a collection of handbags, SLGs, clothes, shoes, by the playful theme of apples and heart motif. Upon my research for this collection, I did notice that they also called this the Chinese Valentine. And I was wondering why. Apparently the Chinese Valentine does land on August 14th. Of course it already passed. I guess they wanted to create, you know, a collection that was targeted for the Chinese market. Chinese people do love their luxury goods. I know Dior came out with a Chinese Valentine collection also with their like mini Dior bags. Instead of like having the regular prints, they have like cute little hearts too. I mean, Chinese people love their luxury goods. So what can you say? All right, so let's just dive into the item that I got. So here it is in the dust bag. And again, they did not come to play. I mean, Gucci really went all out with this collection. Most times when we do see like a limited edition collection, we just see like their regular dust bag or box. Anyways, opening the dust bag, here is the item. Tan -ta -da -dun. So this here is called the Gucci La Pomis card case wallet. Just look at it. It is so freaking cute. I just, I can't get enough. Currently, this does retail for $3.95 USD. This does measure at 4.5 in length, 3.5 in height, and 1 inch in width. This card case wallet is made from the beige ebony Gucci Coda canvas with the Gucci Apple prints and hearts. When you open the flap up, it does include a snap button closure to secure all your items, and it does have a hot stamp that says Gucci made in Italy. This does have gold tone hardware on the button snap and on the zipper. It does have a beige slash off-white leather interior, which I think just just looks very very classic so that is nice because you are getting a leather and a canvas piece on one this card case does fit a total of six cards three on the left side there are two in the front and there is one hidden compartment in the back side in front of the hidden back card slot there is one zipper compartment where you can put coins or even a key fob in here personally for me I would not place any coins just because I don't normally carry coins and it will get dirty eventually so coins are out of the question i'll probably put like knickknacks in here chapstick can definitely fit in here so there's that <laughs> and on the top view there is an open pocket where you can fit your bills or cash so you don't have to fold them there is a pink interior lining inside of this card case so it really does follow along the pink apples throughout the card case now moving on to some pros and cons and pretty much my first impression of this item so the first pro i have to say is the quality you guys, Gucci is not here to play. The quality is amazing. It feels luxurious. It feels sturdy. I just can't get enough of it. Just even like opening and closing the button snap, you can definitely hear how crisp it sounds. Can you hear it? Like, it just, hmm. I mean, with the price you're paying for, you better hear that button snap like across the room. The second pro, 
there was no flaw in this item. Everything from the stitching to the glazing, it looks immaculate. And it's kind of weird to say and see this from a luxury item because I'm just so used to Louis Vuitton coming out with something like a defect item or something just look misaligned. I did not see that in this item. And the craftsmanship is totally there. It really does make me think they are really paying attention to details and I love that. Especially for the price we are paying for, this should be normal. You know, we shouldn't have to look and examine at everything and find something like a stitch popping out or so. I'm just really in shock at how well this is made and the quality. Now for the last pro, besides this being very cute and fun and having the, you know, the little hearts and apples, I do see this as an everyday wallet for sure. It will definitely lash you for a long time just based from the quality again. But yeah, if you're just someone who carries a little bit of cash, some cards and some coins, this is probably a good size for you because it is very compact. And for sure, it will definitely fit in most bags or handbags you do own. Probably not like the nano bags uh, because it probably will take up more space, but you know, a regular size bag, you will definitely be able to fit this in. Now, of course, with some pros, there are always some con. And the first con I don't like about this card case is how bulky this does feel. It's not like very big or anything. It does fit in the palm of my hands, but when you do turn it to the side, the width of it, it is a little bit chunkier than most card case. And I know it's not just a card holder, it is a wallet. Now I did compare this to my Louis Vuitton envelope business card holder. They really do have the similar style. When it comes to the width, it is a bit smaller than this one here. Now that can be a con because if you do want to just carry this in your jean pockets or whatnot, it can kind of protrude out more, you know, it can be a little uncomfortable. The second and last con of this card case that I do not like is the zipper pocket. Unfortunately, you cannot put any cards inside and I'm just like, ugh, I don't like this. They did make the fold, the leather folds to be a little closer. And yeah, I do know that there is six card slots already, but it would have been nice to be able to fit cards into the zipper pocket. Now, if you do love this item as much as I do, you can still purchase it online on their Gucci website. I will link it down below. I'm not too sure how long this collection will last because again, it's only meant for the Chinese Valentine. So if you do want this item, you should definitely buy it now so you don't regret it. Now from this collection though, there are two additional wallets and like card holders that they do offer. The first one is like a regular card holder slot. I do think it is cute, but for me, I don't like this type of card case. There's just no protection. It can only fit cards, so not for me. The second wallet they offer is called the Zip Around Wallet. It is much bigger, so you can definitely fit more items if you carry more than the basic cards and cash here and there. I just think it's a little too big and I know I would not use it. Now just for fun, if I did have the extra funds, I probably would have gotten the Gucci small tote bag from this collection. I do think it looks super cute, but I did ask myself how much wear would I get out of this bag? Just because the print is a bit loud because there are so many apples on the canvas. It was just fun to kind of daydream about this bag. It is a cute item. I don't think I would would really use it to the full capacity. My first time buying from Gucci did not disappoint. I'm so impressed with everything. And to be honest, I might consider buying more from Gucci, which is not good <laughs> because I should be saving money. No good. Unless they come out with something, you know, very cute along this line, I will probably check it out. But to be honest, their, their basic line is okay. It's just really not my cup of tea. But with that being said, if you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up because it will help me in the long run. And of course, I will talk to you guys soon in the next. Have a great one. Bye.